Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the New Zealand dollar uh, British pound currency pair. So in recent weeks and days we've seen a resurgence in risky money flowing into kind of riskier assets and riskier currencies and this has been seen with a certain amount of strength in the New Zealand dollar and the Aussie dollar as inflationary pressures start to ease and also recessionary fears especially in um, you know, certain countries in the US and Australia have also started to ease, hope, spelling the hope that we may have a soft landing from the economy. On the contrary, the, in England, the Bank of England came out with quite negative sentiment, suggesting that a recession may be on the cards pretty soon. And this also led to a weakness in the pound. So as we move towards our charts, one thing we can see is that really since about 2016, we've had this, or even earlier, since 2010, we've kind of been stuck in this range um, it, without uh, base, except for really in 2015 and 2015 to 2016, where we broke out. But on the most part, we've been able to hold this kind of range here. And as we can see, we've tested it a couple of times. You know, we weren't able to break through during COVID, which is a really good sign. And even in the recoveries, we haven't been able to break above. What else we can see is that we've got this kind of, um, we've got this contracting triangle where we've got the price is starting to fight each other and we haven't been able to break through. So we can see that the price is starting to get tighter and tighter and tighter and before it makes its next move. And, you know, we've still got a bit of space to go. So we, we may see it come down, go up, come down before deciding which way it wants to go. But we aren't sure which way it's going to break out yet. So therefore, we move towards the, we move and look at the daily chart. And as we can see, again, we've been even looking closer. We can see they're in a bit of a tighter range. And we've got our area of support, areas of support and resistance. Um, and this potentially brings up a, short opportunity as we can see we've been able to we're getting close to testing this resistance at 53 50 uh you know 0.53 pounds and what we can do is we can set our stop we can set our our short target perhaps at about 50 51 give our entry at this point 51 53 so we go to 50 set our stop at about just above that 53 target, which gives us a fairly decent um, risk reward ratio there of about 3.2. So there's definitely some opportunity in this currency peg, um, especially on the short side, if we are able to respect this kind of resistance zone. There you go, guys. Thanks for listening and good luck trading.